Now this is a lovely bit of gear. Um, a lot of people wouldn't think about using an up trace on a ledger, but you know, I use them and quite a lot of people use them now. Uh, why do you use them? Well, why not? Because to be honest, it's just an extra safety thing for the pike. If, the, if you're using a live bait, if the, the bait comes over, especially if you're on a river, so the angle of the line is up, it can come, come around and again you can have a bite off. With that you can't. And also on still waters, great for, in weed. If the fish passes through weed, then it's an extra safeguard. You, you're going to cut through the weed with this, with this, the wire and up trace. Very simple. All you're doing is connecting to an up trace. You come in, you fit on the extra large run ring. So it gives very, very little resistance and also can come right off the rig like so for safety down to a casting boom which these are absolutely superb um, that I use these on almost every rig because you're talking about when you cast out that keeps it in an angle and keeps your bait away from your your main line or your up trace and then just a, a clip on there to put your trace on your normal trace you know whether it be that long or shorter or whatever what I tend to do is I change the the wire trace to suit the bait if it's a, a pop-up bait that it's on a shallow water I don't I don't want it popping up that far what I'll use is a short trace because at the end of the day you're not going to get a bite off because it doesn't matter how short the trace is you've got this anyway so that's how long your trace is absolutely super super bit of kit there you go up trace for the ledger rig what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mount a bait and in this case it's a bluey and I'm going to mount this on the, the up trace ledger rig. What I'm going to do, I've prepared it first. I've cut the, the tail a little bit, trimmed it off so it's not got the, a big tail spinning out that's going to spin, so it's sticking out so it doesn't spin. And I've also cut the head off, which lets a load of flavour out. And I'm also, what I do on a lot of the baits is just a few, few spikes on it like that. Just jab it like that. And of course, obviously what that does is let even more flavour out. You're trying to attract that pike into the swim. And nice and easy, right up into the the tail area, which is pretty tough. That'll hold the that'll hold the hold the bait nice, and then the other one down there. That's what you want. You don't want the bait that small for the rig that this is down too far. Remember that down too far. As soon as you picks it up, turns that bait. You've got a chance that 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 hook is going to be too far down. That's just nice there, halfway down. There, pike comes along, got it. Within a few seconds strike, you've got the fish. I always say to people, if it's a good fish, he's got it. You can imagine that if a, a decent pike, anything sort of eight, nine, 10 pound, a decent pike, right up to 30, 40 pound, if you're lucky enough, will get that and he's hooked. If you lose fish because he's not hooked himself on that rig, he's usually a jack, a tiny fish. And do you want that anyway? You know, let's not hook it, let's not bring it in. Let's keep it for the future. That's your future 20 or 30 pounder. And there's the rig.